Hi, hello, I'm Bear, and today we're going to make Twitch a worse place. Probably. IRC, or Internet Relay Chat, is a text-based real-time chat system that connects to an IRC server to handle real-time messaging. Kinda poggers. Also, not that important unless you want to get into the weeds of it. Twitch utilizes IRC, so if you want to mess with chat, Twitch IRC is the way to go. So, what good is Twitch IRC? Well, do you want a bot to be able to analyze chat messages in real time? What about writing a bot to write chat messages? Maybe you want to analyze who enters the chat room and alienate your lurkers. If so, then congrats, Twitch IRC is for you. If what you are trying to do isn't one of those three, Twitch offers something better, trust me. And if I had to guess, you're probably looking for PubSub. Link in the description for a video on that. So, how do you get started? Assuming you already have an application registered with Twitch and you already have an OAuth token, the next step is to open a WebSocket to the IRC server, which does nothing, at least at first. But it gets us started. This is in vanilla JavaScript, by the way. We can send it two different messages using an event listener on the socket that fires when we connect. These messages authorize usage. First is the pass message, which contains the OAuth token. Next is the nick message, which for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what this does. Considering IRC servers are designed around IRC protocol RFC 1459, I could probably read that memo and figure out what the nick message does, but f that, who has that kind of time? As far as I could tell, it does nothing because you could literally put gibberish here and it still connects and grabs your username from the OAuth token. So as long as you send the nick message is all that matters. We use another event listener on the socket to listen for messages sent. Look at all the cool stuff it sends you when you connect. Aw, GLHFTU IRC server. Now we have to join a channel. Go grab the username from the URL of your favorite streamer and send this join message right after your nick message. If you have done everything right, you should be getting messages in the console from chatters all around the world. What a cluttered mess. You just gotta keep in mind that Twitch IRC is meant for bots. If you want to send a message to the chat, you can use the private message message to send a chat, which is probably the best use for IRC. As you can see, here we have the bot send cringe to the chat room if anyone types hello world. That'll show them. Lastly, we have to stay connected to the server with, you guessed it, a ping. The server will periodically send a ping message to your bot and you are required to reply with a pong message or else the server will terminate connection. And that's it, really. Okay, technically there is more, but most of it is either depreciated or generally useless unless you have a very specific need. Let me give you the Cliff Notes version. There are eight supported IRC commands, that's the RFC 1459 thing I was talking about earlier, and 10 that are specific for Twitch. Of the 18, six of them we just talked about. Pass, join, nick, ping, pong, and private message. Notice, clear chat, clear message, notice again for some reason, Reconnect, Room State, and Whisper are for the most part either boring or useless, which leaves about five left to talk about. Global User State apparently fires when a known bot joins a channel, which might be useful to prevent bot spam, but it's also worded weirdly, so this might not be true. Host Target is cool because it fires upon outgoing raids. I didn't test it, so I'm not sure if it fires after the streamer calls for a raid or after the raid happens. But if it is a letter, it might be useful if you want your bot to spam your raid call when you go to raid someone. User Notice fires when someone subscribes, gifts, or raids you, so that could be useful. User State is another one that is worded kind of weirdly. It states that it fires when a user joins the channel, but later states when the bot joins, so I'm not too sure. It needs testing. Lastly, and the reason why this would make Twitch a worse place, the part message fires when your bot is banned from a chat. So the obvious comes to mind. Write a bot to go into a random chat, spam your message, wait for the part message, then repeat. If you have ever streamed on Twitch, this is going to sound familiar, so I'm sorry? Oh, you also used to be able to do chat commands through IRC like banning, deleting message, etc., but Twitch is removing that from the IRC side on February 18th and moving it to the API side. So that's it. This has been Twitch API in five minutes. Hopefully I was within the time frame this time. Like, comment, and subscribe down below if you are not too mad at me. If you do, I'll throw a pizza party to show you how much I really care. Okay, bye.